Bonjour, mes amours. I cannot wait to show you guys this beautiful, sexy, brown, smoky eye. Hey guys, I know I always forget this. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and we're going to jump right into it. I am cleaning up my brows right now, just brushing them out. And yes, I am back to using my Milk of Magnesia. Milk of Magnesia never fails me. And like I said, I am very, very oily. It's like sebum constantly comes out of my pores all the time. And I... I, I just can't control it. So the best way for me to control it with makeup so it doesn't look so shiny and oily, I use Milk of Magnesia. And I've started to use, I've been using it on my eyebrows, but I just recently seen someone actually put it on their eyebrows like this, like I do. <laughs> and I've done this. I just didn't want to show y'all and see ratchet, but it works for me. It has not taken out my eyebrows or anything like that. Like I don't have any patches. And actually my brows have been growing back. I don't know why or if that's the cause, but they've been growing back. So it, it has not harmed my eyebrows, but proceed with caution with your own um, choices and what you decide to use on your face. But I am going in and just giving you guys a short eyebrow tutorial with the Milk of Magnesia. I normally use a brush and a dip brow product, but right now I am using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in a brown shade or dark dark brown shade i will be posting the color in this video because i'm not sure of what the shade is but this is a dark brown shade from la pro girls and i know i get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows but eyebrows eyebrows is one of those things to where you just have to keep practicing and it depends on how you like your eyebrows your shape of your eyebrows what product you prefer using um, how you decide or how much time you have because the the way I do my eyebrows it takes forever like this is the longest part of doing my makeup is my eyebrows and some days I don't want to do a full coverage brow some days I just want to fill them in just a little bit and put a little bit of concealer underneath or I just want to fill them in just a little bit or I'll just wear them bare so it all depends but to get them this way the trendy way you have to just keep practicing it um, it's just repetition I know that my brows are different than yours your brows are different than hers so it just all depends and the more you practice on your own brows the more you can really perfect the way you want your brows to be each time but now i'm just going in to clean it up underneath and when i fill everything in i'm not really as precise um, all the time I try to be as precise as possible when I'm filling it in with the brown shade or with the dark shade but the time to clean it up is afterwards when you're going in with your lighter concealer underneath and on top now normally sometimes I don't use concealer on top because I just don't want that look some days but since I'm using Milk of Magnesia today and I'm going for a full coverage look, I am concealing on top with one shade darker than my than that concealer underneath or one shade lighter than my foundation. So I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not that complicated. Just rewind it and write it down if it's that serious. <laughs> but I'm just going in highlighting up top and making sure everything is clean and precise. And it's okay to mess up, but you don't wanna mess up too much at this point because you don't wanna have to go back and have to wipe the whole brow off now that will, will ruin your whole makeup experience like 
your whole vibe will change if you have to wipe off a whole eyebrow and start over. So now we're just going in and blending out that concealer and making sure everything is kind of blending into our skin before we apply any foundation or any eyeshadow. So yes, the brows are done and prepped and ready to go into this beautiful, beautiful 3503 Morphe Fierce by Nature palette. Y'all, when this palette came in the mail, I was like, this is my first serious palette, like from Morphe. Morphe is like known to be like artistry, like you're a real MUA is how you're supposed to feel when you get a palette like this. And that's how I felt. I just didn't know where to start. And I didn't know what color to use for transition. I was just like, oh, this everything's just so pretty. Goodness, I don't know where to start. So I decided to go in with this color and I'm gonna be putting whatever the name of this color is in the video so you'll know exactly what it is. But um, I felt like this was the perfect transition shade um, or warm shade to warm it up from the brown um, into your highlight or brow bone area. So I'm just going in and packing this in my crease and kind of blending everything out. And mind you guys, I'm still getting comfortable with eyeshadow. I am normally a basic eyeshadow girl you know just you know maybe a pop of color every now and then but i kept it simple with this look and for that exact reason now i'm going in with a lighter orangey shade i'm going to be tagging that like i said earlier in the video to let you guys know exactly what shade i'm using i just wanted to brighten it up just a little bit more before i go in with the brown shade Now I'm going to use my concealer brush, um, just a little bit that's left on the brush, to give me a base, a clear base for my brown shade. And I'm just blending it out a little bit. So the brown shade that I'm gonna be using is from the Chocolates by Juvia's, by Juvia's Place. I decided to use a brown shade in here because I just wanted to use the palette. I was so excited for Juvia's Place when I finally got them. And I'm just going all over my eyelid to create that dark, smoky effect. And blending out in between the orangey shade and the brown. Now, Juvia's Place, I don't see any names on these shades, so I don't know. <laughs> I showed you guys the, the shade I'm using. Now I'm going in with the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum by Drunk Elephant. This stuff, I love this stuff for moisturizer. It's just so expensive. I still have some left from my little trial size, but it's really good. 
Now, of course, I'm going in with the Soft Matte by Fenty for my primer to prime my face. And I am using Honey and the setting powder to set my face and kind of reduce a little bit of that oil or moisture um, and set my face before I apply my MAC foundation in the shade NC47 in the Studio Fix Fluid. And now for the first time, I am going to be color correcting all those little dark areas around my mouth. And you may not be able to see them or you may say, girl, you don't need to color correct. But I see the things that I need to color correct. And now that I know that I can color correct or that I need to, um, I'm going to start doing this when I want a full coverage, like full, full beat coverage look. Um, and that's what I'm going for. I kind of blended out every area that I use the color corrector in with my finger. And you want to make sure you're blending it out, um, not taking away from the corrector, but just blending it out to where it's, it's a little dull. And now I'm going in with my foundation. And I love the way it's sitting on everything. Like it's not... I don't know before my foundation did not apply like this it feels like it's more even coverage and it's on a flat or um, a solid foundation on my face because normally I don't use a moisturizer and primer and a setting powder so I think that's what did the trick and I'm really loving the way my foundation is is coming out it's like almost flawless and when it dries down it's going to be even more flawless so you may want to try this little routine you know using moisturizer that works for your skin then prime um, and then set with the powder and if you need to color correct you know color correct any dark marks that you have blend it out and then apply your foundation boom we're on to something And now I'm gonna be going in with Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 330. Now I am, like this is my go-to concealer. I absolutely love the thickness and the coverage of this concealer with all of the foundations that I've used, not just Fenty. I like it with the MAC, I like it with NYX, I like it with, um, what's my other foundation? Oh gosh, I can't think right now. But all of the foundations that I've used this with, it works perfectly with. So even if I just want to conceal and not wear any makeup or not wear any foundation, like this, I just love this, this concealer. This is like my favorite right now. So now I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend everything out. And this is a full coverage look, so I put you know, I'm blending out a lot and I'm wanting the under eye to be snatched. So that's what I'm doing. Just blending everything out, making sure it's seamless. Now I'm going in with Juvia's Place Multi-Purpose Foundation Stick in the shade Abidjan. I think I'm saying that right, but I'm going in with this to conceal and kind of contour my nose and everywhere that needs to be contoured. And I must say, 
this stick and this shade is perfect. It's gonna be hard for me to steer away from this. And I say that because a lot of the times my shades that I get, they feel like they're too dark to when I'm concealing and I have to blend out a whole lot just to make sure it's not so intense. But this shade is perfect. So you'll be seeing this like a lot more than probably, it's gonna be hard to get me away from this, this, this shade and this brand because it's just so perfect for my skin tone. And now we're just gonna wanna chisel that nose just a little bit, just chisel it. Just like, I ch just chisel it. So we're just gonna just give us a, a small line down the middle. And then we're gonna blend up and out. Just blend up and out. <laughs> Y'all, I cracked myself up being so extra. But this nose contour, the fact that I don't really need it, I make sure that I have to blend, you know, blend as much as possible this nose situation because I've been seeing, I don't know if it's trendy or, or what it is, but I've been seeing this line down the middle and nobody's really blending out the edges of that line. So I just make sure I pay close attention and kind of baby that area because I don't want to be looking like um, the wooden Pinocchio with, um, you know, just the, the wooden looking nose. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just blending my contour out in Abidjan. I think that's how you say it. If it's not how you say it, then that should be how you say it because the way I say it, it just sounds so sexy. Abidjan. And of course, I'm going back in with Old Faithful, the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Honey to set under my eyes and everywhere else. And sometimes I'll conceal down here um, underneath my darker contour shade. But today I didn't really want to conceal underneath. Sometimes it's too much and I don't really feel like blending that much. So on those days where I feel lazy and I don't want to contour with a lighter shade, I just go in with my setting powder to kind of mimic a contour. Now I'm going in with this shade from the same Morphe palette because I just wanted to try a different shade for blush and utilize the eyeshadow palette for something other than eyeshadow. But I'm just going in with that shade for blush, which turns out to be pretty. And now I am going in with the same brown to smoke out that lower lash line.
and I am going to be highlighting with Juvia's Place the Heroin Glow 2. Now I love this highlighter because it has like a hint of pink in it and you know how I do highlighter. I use it for everything that you can highlight. So that's what I'm doing, going under that brow bone or going on that brow bone and highlighting on the nose, on the cheekbones, on the forehead, in the tear ducts, um, everywhere you can highlight, I'm using this highlighter. To set, I'm using Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist in Matte Like That by Morphe. And y'all, this baby right here, the iconic London Triple Threat Black Mascara. When I tell you this mascara, I had to look twice because the way it just gave me the va va voom, I was like, what? I haven't had a mascara to do this to my little bitty eyelashes, so get you some of this. And of course, I'm going in with Sunstalker Bronzer by Fenty because this is one of the other things I swear by. And I am just warming up my face by bronzing in the shade Coco Naughty. And another new favorite thing, Lil Mama has her own line of lashes and I love these lashes. Now, do I put them on properly all the time? I'm still learning that too. But <laughs> I love the lashes and now I'm a little behind. This is a Morphe set of mattes and one lip gloss. And when I tell y'all, I am super in love with these shades, especially that one. The gloss is beautiful. It has like an iridescent type of glitter. And we've reached the end of the video. Wasn't that crazy? It feels like I just started. I'm in love with this sexy little brown look. I hope you guys try this look as well. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and comment. I love your feedback. I love your support and I thank you for your support. And I can't wait to shoot and film my next video and post that. So stay tuned. Au revoir. Love you guys.